Tropical Storm Ophelia has made landfall in North Carolina, and now it's continuing to bring impacts to Virginia. It's Lee Weather Team meteorologist Joe Martucci. Ophelia made landfall near Emerald Isle, North Carolina, as a strong tropical storm, almost hurricane strength. And now it will continue to the north here, staying as a tropical storm as it makes its way into Virginia, perhaps going right over Richmond, could also go over Newport News as well, and then weakening to a remnant storm as we go into our Sunday and into Sunday night, where it eventually moves into New Jersey and then actually sags back south as we go forward in time. Let's take a look at our rainfall totals so far. Highest tolls have been south of Newport News, but we still have seen decent amount of rain in Fredericksburg and Richmond, and we'll only see more as we go later in the day today, starting around 2 or 3 o'clock as the center of the storm moves through. Highest gusts have been along the shore, no surprise there, Wallops Island at 56 miles an hour. But even Danville, Richmond, and Lynchburg have been between 30 and 40. And we'll continue that as we go throughout the day. It's going to knock over the garbage cans. It's going to knock over the Halloween decorations. But I don't expect any real wind damage or power outages from this. I'm more concerned about the flooding rain later today. The Weather Prediction Center has upgraded places from around Richmond down to Emporia to a level three of four risk for excessive rain and flooding. This means widespread flooding is possible here. The last time we were in a level three risk in Richmond was back in June of 2021. It was June um, 11th. We had two water rescues that day in the city of Richmond. So that gives you an idea of what kind of rain we're expecting as we go into the afternoon and evening. So you see here comes one shot of rain as we go into the late morning and into midday. And then here comes the core of the storm where do you see those oranges and yellows to the south moving north as we go into the evening hours here and as we go into Saturday night. That's where we're going to see a lot of this rainfall moving from Richmond up to Fred Fredericksburg here. Places to the west of there, Charlottesville, Lynchburg, Danville, Blacksburg. You'll see showers, don't get me wrong, but it's not going to be like that Emporia up to Richmond quarter and then moving into Fredericksburg. Good news is as we go into... Uh, Sunday, we're dry, and in fact, there'll even be sunshine in some spots down towards southwestern Virginia, but it will be a dry day for us here on Sunday. Expected rainfall totals to come. You can see why that Emporia to Richmond corridor is in that level three risk. We are expecting an additional three to six inches of rain before all is said and done with this. So this is a serious situation there. We do have to pay attention if your basement floods and you're living in that Richmond to Emporia corridor, you want to make sure you're taking your stuff out, at least the valuable stuff, just in case of floods. Same thing if you live along a river or stream. Our winds will stay elevated as we go into the day today. Again, I think gusts are generally in the 30s. Even though the corridor storm will come over Richmond, maybe getting the Newport news, it will be a weakened storm by then. And then Sunday is really just a barely even a breezy day to be honest with you here it's just going to be really cloudy and that's about it here's a look at our coastal flooding forecast so we do have some high tides to worry about mainly the saturday afternoon one there's a couple of differences though between minor flood stage and moderate flood stage here's moderate many bayside roads flood road may close unraised homes and businesses flood we only see that a couple times a year but there are a few spots along some of the tidal rivers that look to see major flood stage we're talking about widespread flooding along the shoreline here it doesn't even happen every year we take a look at our flood stage right now across uh, portions of virginia a few spots in moderate flood stage uh luckily most of the james river is okay or in minor flood stage but that will change as we go into the afternoon we have more updates for you on your favorite local news website you can also check out our across the sky podcast with our lee weather team new episodes come out every monday